All right, now I want to share with you the secret to becoming wealthy, which is exponential wealth growth. It's understanding how exponential wealth growth works. I want to share with you a presentation, and we do this in our consumer events, and this just blows people away. So let me show you how that works. All right, so let me show you the difference between investing in the bank. So let's say you have $1, okay? You have $1, and you put it in the bank. And you get 1%. So it's black, what is the money? So $1, 1%. Now, what you can see is you're only getting paid one time. This is called linear wealth growth. It's just one time straight line. So let's say you take a dollar and you put it in the stock market in a 401k and you get 8%. Now, the reason I'm using 8% is Money Magazine had an article talking about is it better to invest in real estate or stocks? And they said stocks are better because over the past 50 years, that the stock market is average 8% on a national level, real estate's average 5%. So here's two, four, six, seven, eight. Way better than the bank. But same problem, linear wealth growth. You're getting paid one time on just your money. Now let's compare it to real estate. Let's say you take $1 and you buy a $10 property. So here's your 10% down, then we have two, four, six, eight, nine. So now, bank loans you nine. So again, where do you think you're gonna make more money on a $10 asset or a $1 asset? Money Magazine said stocks get 8% better than real estate because on a national level, real estate's only got 5%. So let's figure see if Money Magazine is right. 5%, but remember, we said there's five economic benefits. 5% on 10 is 50. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Now, that's two economic benefits. You made money in the leverage factor, you made money in appreciation, but there's three more. So now, we talked about rental cash flow. Rents basically go one way. Tax write-off. And then there's the mortgage pay down. Look at the difference. Look at the scale, same one dollar. But look at the difference between real estate stocks and the bank. How is it possible that less than 10% of the people believe in real estate and 90% believe here? Simple answer, because residential real estate agents sell the home as if it were a commodity, not an asset, as if it were a liability, not an asset. They believe that, it is wrong. This is a far more powerful way. Sharing this with consumers, how many clients of yours do you think are gonna choose this stack over this? You know the answer, none. All we have to do is educate them. 